Norbert Bojo created the Seedmaster drill back in the early 1990s and continues to make improvements as time goes on and farming practices change. The latest development is the new Nova XP820 model air cart, which they like to refer to as the smart cart. Bojo says this unit came out of the increasing demand for a cart with a higher capacity and a more convenient variable rate fertilizer application system. The drills that we're selling now are often in that 80 and 90 foot range and the tanks that were on the market weren't, weren't able to properly feed that size of drill, um, especially at the new rates. They're using variable rate mapping and, and using rates of fertilizer that are, are hitting sometimes four or five hundred pounds per acre and the equipment on the market definitely couldn't do that. The 820 model number refers to the cart's capacity with three 260 bushel tanks and a 40 bushel tank for smaller products such as canola. These tanks feed a metering system which accurately distributes seed and one or more types of fertilizer. The metering starts at the bottom where the, where the 20 uh, uh, tubes are. There's a very fast selection to select either the fertilizer or seed side of the of the system so the the farmer can choose for this tank to be blowing product into the seed run or into the fertilizer run and it's a very very complete isolation between the two runs because he's physically moving the hose to the right location we use a flexible hose going up from that uh, to drop the product from the meter to these tubes the rollers are designed to precisely meter out seed or fertilizer at rates ranging anywhere from 10 pounds up to 500 pounds per acre. We drive the overall bank of meters with a, 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 a nice uh, Raven motor here that's, that's got an integrated uh, shaft speed sensor built into it. We use the common shaft right across at this location and because we match our metering sections with our manifold sizes, we gear the drive at this location uh, to match the manifold size. So as you can see here, this is feeding a, a six outlet manifold. The next one beside it is feeding an eight outlet manifold. So you get exactly the right quantity of product for the number of final runs that it's feeding. The Seedmaster Zone Command System turns off various portions of the drill at the appropriate times to prevent overlapping, thereby reducing seed and fertilizer costs. So moving up from here, the Zone Command shuts the individual manifold sections off. So here we have, we have this machine has 10 fertilizer manifolds and 10 seed manifolds, and every, every manifold is tied to one metering section here and one zone command air cylinder so the air cylinder when it's pressurized it just engages or disengages the that one metering section which is related to one one manifold in order to make the cart more convenient to operate bojo included a system of load cells for the tanks the load cells, the, the tanks themselves are completely suspended on, on four, each tank has four individual load cells. And then that data is, is summarized through a, a processor that, that displays the total weight of product in the tank. And uh, that's, that's a big benefit when you're filling, when you want to know exactly how much product you're putting on, or when you're part way empty and you want to know how much you can, how far you can go to finish. But Bojo feels the most significant benefit of load cells is allowing a farmer to quickly and accurately set the metering system at the start of a field. They're so precise that you can, you can, we, I should never have to do a metering check again by catching product uh, because I can seed for five or ten minutes register how many acres I've done, register how many pounds in each tank have been used, do a very quick calculation and reset my calibration rate very precisely from that data. Right now the seeding is being done by Owen Kinch who works in the Seedmaster R&D department and also manages their research farm. 
He says hitting their target rates is made easier by the in-cab monitor. Yes, uh, when it's recording the as-applied map, uh, you'll see here where we were, uh, looks like we were just starting up. Uh, red is indicating that we're below rate. Green is indicating that we're on target rate. And magenta is showing that we're above target rate. Another convenient operating feature is the hydraulically operated lids on the tanks. The air pressure in the tank is significant that there's several hundred pounds of push on the, on the bottom of the lid. So I decided to explore the use of using hydraulic cylinders and an active force actually pressing the lid down at all times. We get that active hydraulics from the fan itself. So if the farmer is running the fan at a higher pressure and there's higher pressure in the tank, it automatically seals it harder. And uh, it ended up being very convenient. You can open and close the lids without having to, to even climb up on anything. This unit is a prototype and Bojo says the production models will be compatible with toolbars from other manufacturers. But right now the demand is so strong that they're only selling these carts in combination with the Seedmaster toolbar. They plan to custom build carts according to the needs of the farmer, including how many tanks they want as well.